this is my, uh, I don't know, sixth or seventh time using the metal glass this season. Um, had a reasonably snowy uh, first couple months here. Um, I don't have any complaints. Really pleased um, with the efficiency. Um, there's one thing that kind of weird or hard to get used to. I don't know whatever you want to call it, but it doesn't like curl up as much. That's about. That's all about all I can curl up, like a cage or like a snow wolf. Um, kind of mounts at a 45. And you can uh, curl it up quite a bit, but this one it, it mounts like at like a 90. You can't curl it as much, so it's it's weird stacking piles or um, or just curling in general because you're like, oh, should curl more, but I don't. I mean, last year, <clears throat> last year I was running the cage system, which I was really pleased with, and really the first, I guess for the last couple of years I've been running the cage system. Um, that is really the only thing it ran, so I was super pleased with that. Um, until I found it about metal plus. Um, and last last couple years, three years, I was working for someone else, running their machines, using their plows, and I kind of got my own stuff this year and decided to go with a metal plus. Um, I mean, it's a more initial investment, but I mean, it's a it's a tremendous tremendous time saver. Um, super pleased. And then I'm in a 257, I'm in a 257 Cat D, it's a 2019, and uh, so it's tracked, it's got the multi-terrain multi, multi -terrain tracks, um, I was skeptical um, pre-season because I didn't know how well the tracks were going to work, so I was a little nervous. Um, but honestly, it's it's just as good as a wheeled machine I've ran. Um, I mean, I'd have to run them side by side to give you the best answer. But like stuff like this, I mean, the parking lot was salted pretty heavily. Um, we kind of got like three inches the past two days, like inch and a half, an inch, inch and a half. So it's not sticking to the lot, or is there any pack? And this plow scrape's so good that I can get insane traction with these tracks and this track system. So I'm, I'm pretty pleased with how it's working. Um, and for power wise, I mean it's 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 plenty plenty powerful. I mean there's times where I, I max it out, of course, but. Um, this, this plow is, is is super efficient in you know the one to four inch range just because anything I guess more um, you I'll max max out the machine but but I mean it, it works circles around any other skid loader plow or I guess an attachment that I've seen it's just it's kind of remarkable. This is uh, one of my sites, my bigger site. It uh, this is a, a skid loader lot for sure. Um, lots of nooks and crannies, super tight. Um, most of my other ones I could do with the truck, but uh, it's it's so it's so fast with this with this skid loader that. It, 
doesn't uh, make sense for me just to use my truck. So it's it's usually me, myself, and I. So I'll trailer. I'll trailer it. Uh, the skid loader around with my truck. I got a plow on it. I got a salter. Um, and I'll just unload this. Unload the the skid loader. Clean up the lot with that. Unless it's snowing during the day, then I'll usually try and just do open ups with uh, my truck since I don't get to fuck around a trailer. Um, and with this plow pushing into piles, I just like to kind of straighten out the the wings, otherwise they get kind of hung up. And it is it is fairly heavy. The guy I. Uh, or the company I bought it from, he's saying it was only 1,300 pounds or something. But I mean, it's, it's got to be closer to um, 2,000. Um, I mean, it it's heavy. If I not careful backing up when I tie up, you know, I'll go. Um, I'll do some endos, but it's it's not bad at all. I haven't had any any issues with um, the plow or stuff breaking yet. These things are pretty robust, I've been told. Um, one thing I've had is uh, the the place. I, well, first of all, I was gonna get it installed, like plumbed, basically plumbed at uh, Caterpillar, but then for some reason, for some reason they. They couldn't, it was sitting there for a while and they didn't want to do it for warranty reasons or something or another. I swear the guy I bought it from said he didn't install them, but I called him and oh yeah, we installed them. So I was like, well, what the hell? I should have just had you installed it when I picked it up. But it ended up working out, he installed it. There's a few few problems with, uh, with uh, my skid loader hooking it up to it or the quick attach plate something was off it was my pins went latch or something or another so I tried looking it out I'm like yeah man I mean your plow has got to be messed up let's figure this out ended up being plow and skid loader like welds were too big and something was off so we figured that out figured that out um, and that all worked out so that wasn't too big of an issue and First storm went by. First storm went by, everything went well, and then I got a, a text from the the guy I bought it from saying, Oh, you know, we had an issue with our, our hose crimper that attaches the fittings to the hose, the dies off or something or another. And uh, he asked me for my mailing address, he goes, Oh, I'll send you some new hoses, blah blah. So waiting, 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 didn't get nothing. I think, I don't know, this next storm, I blew a hose, it just popped off. Had to go get some because it, was, it wasn't done plowing. So, got a hose and then came in the mail like two weeks later. So I got a spare now. Shouldn't, I don't think I should have an issue anymore, but it's always good to have spare parts. Yeah, it take, took a while for me to get used to. Still kind of getting used to it. Not the most, I guess, smooth with it yet. But it's really nice because just the roller ball, you can see that. The roller just moves that. And then if I want to move a wing, I hold one of these two on the right buttons. Bottom one's the left wing. In and out, use the roller. And then I do the top one. Roller does the right wing, so it's it's real it's really nice actually because I wasn't expecting to have like a switch somewhere or another, but I don't have to take my hands off the joysticks or, or anything, and it's it's quite smooth. And yeah, it's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. And this 
test the, the Live Edge or whatever you want to, I don't know what Metal Plus calls it, Live Edge technology or something. Um, it's got the, it's got like little carbide inserts in the, in the, see those are two foot whatever blades and then the inside, I won't be able to see, like in the middle there's a carbet, carbide like edge in there and I guess you can get 700 hours out of them or something so that's not too bad I mean they're pretty they're fairly pricey to replace I think they're something around 200 bucks a piece but I mean 700 hours that's pretty remarkable I mean that's at least two seasons I would I would hope so that's that's not too bad I mean this this thing's beefy built really well I'm super pleased with the purchase. guys through uh the dirt ninja he's got the 926 or whatever with the 24 or 12 24 footer and i'm like you know what that seems nice i like nice i like nice stuff um yeah it's kind of a i don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing but it seems to work out. I'm not always fixing shit, obviously stuff breaks. But can't fix, can't dust, I guess necessarily stop things from breaking because they're always gonna. Well, I do some shoveling, not this account. This account, um, people shovel for me. I'm, I'm kind of I'm subbed from this other bigger company. So I don't mind that. I two other of my accounts I shovel, but it ain't it ain't too bad. It ain't too much shoveling, so it doesn't bother me. It's kind of good to get out and do something other than move my hands and sit on my butt.
you guys made it this far, thanks for watching. In the beginning of the film, uh, I had a low tire and I somehow lost some footage of me uh, changing the tire. I didn't have my air compressor with me, um, so I just put on the spare, got that plug, and uh, yeah, I mean, hopefully I got some good footage for you guys. Uh, I'm always trying to improve, so if you guys have any recommendations of what you guys want to see differently or something else that you'd like to see. I mean, I do a bunch of stuff, so I mean, just comment. Um, feel free to give me a like, subscribe. Uh, I'll try to put up videos every so often. Winter might be a little slower, depending on if it snows a lot or not. I don't do as much dirt work in the winter, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, just finishing greasing up my machine here and uh, enjoy.